yeah, 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 yeah. I, okay, okay. Let me start over. All right. Yo, what's going on, y'all lockout men? Mates the call here for you. You. Yes, you. Right there in the camera. Right there. Yo, check it out. Today's call is to Martin. Yes, Martin. I already talked to the man. Good conversation. Good information. Uh, Martin has a lot of a lot of divisions but you gotta be in that area to jump in that particular division uh, the intermodal division is out of chicago so if you stay in chicago you might have a chance to jump in on with uh martin and run the intermodal division but if you're not in chicago i'm sorry to say it won't happen but they do hire out of uh out of different areas of the of, of the states and you guys might be able to jump in there so let's find out in this call let's find out what the young man has to say about martin transport is it martin transport or martin transport martin transport let's get into the call thank you for calling martin transport this call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes Martin recruiting. This is Rebecca. How may I help you? Hey, Rebecca. How's it going today? Hello? It's going good. How are you? Oh, it's going good. I'm fine. Yes, Thank I'm you. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes. I can hear you. I can hear you. Um, I'm trying to get, uh, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, there you go. I can hear you. I can hear you. Um, hi. Um, I'm interested in knowing a little bit more, uh, knowing about Mark. How you pronounce the name? Martin? Martin or Martin? Martin. Martin's fine. Um, where do you live? Uh, I stay out of uh, Cleveland, in Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Um, let me get you to a recruiter who handles that area, and they can go over with you everything we have out of there. Very good, ma'am. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. Martin, this is Chris speaking. Hey, Chris, how's it going, man? Good, yourself? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was just uh, calling to uh, – actually, I'm doing my research, uh, and Martin is one of the companies that I got on my checklist to uh, – Uh-oh. Hold on. I think I lost you. I keep... Gotcha, gotcha. What, what, what questions must have? Hold on. I think I lost you. Did, did I, do I still got you? I still oh, got. Yeah, yep. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Yeah, good. you're back. You're back. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So I was just uh. You know, I'm just doing my research uh about different companies because I'm interested in coming into the uh into the game. But I, I do have uh I do have a uh, one particular question. Do you guys offer CDL schooling for drivers that don't have their CDLs? Currently, right now, we do not. We just um, offer um, positions to drivers who have their CDL and at least um, six months of experience with that CDL. Oh, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I'm out of Ohio. Um, of course, they transferred to me, and I guess you covered this area. Um, do you guys have, like, where where's the terminals located at, like the main terminal? Yeah, for for us, the um, closest actual terminal terminal to you would be here in our um, Indianapolis terminal. Oh, okay, okay, Indianapolis. So, yeah, we, we do happen to have a um, drop yard in the um, in um, the Columbus area. Oh, okay. But um, but yeah, our ma our main terminal with the shop and everything would be in or in Indianapolis where I'm at. So that's where I will come to uh, do my orientation. Correct, yes. Okay. How would you get me there? <laughs> we um we actually do um bus transportation through Greyhound and um we get you in the night before, push you up in the hotel and then um get you in for orientation after that. Okay. Um Greyhound. Not a fan. What if I what if I decide to rent a car? Would you would you reimburse me for the for the car rental? We would reimburse you for the mileage, but we would not reimburse for the whole car. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because like I said, I'm not a fan of uh of uh of Greyhound. Speaking of speaking of which, um you say you get us in a hotel. Would I be in a hotel by myself, being that I'm a uh experienced Correct. driver? Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys uh Yeah, yeah. You guys uh offer a sign on bonus? We do not do sign on bonuses, but we do have minimum guarantees on most all of our lanes. So um so pretty much whatever you go into, there would at least be a minimum guarantee that um, that way um, we found out that sign-on bonuses are nice to get people in, but it doesn't keep people staying. So we do more of a minimum guarantee that way. Um, obviously, if something happens, the truck breaks down or something like that, you're still covered and um, you can still pay your bills from there. So Okay. Uh, if, if I might ask, what, what will be the guarantee pay? It just depends. Um, we have guys who run our um, – if you're running our regional account and if you're out on for one week the minimum is ten fifty. If it's two weeks you're out if you're out for two weeks it's eleven fifty and then then we have like other dedicated accounts just kinda of depends like I said where you're located and what you're looking into. So okay, okay. So about about a thousand dollars a week pretty much. Yeah, like ten fifty is the the lowest minimum we have. Most of them like I said are 11, 11, 50, something like that. So, okay. So I'm looking at, I'm on the website right quick, and I'm seeing that you guys offering sixty two cent uh, CPM. Is that sixty two cent out the gate, or is that sixty two cent with incentives? It's um, there's you have a base rate depending on your experience, and then then from there it um, it incorporates um anything you'd have for like um. For downtime, like because we paid attention automatically, it um it also includes um just bonus opportunity stuff like that. But but yeah, when I ran the fleet, most of my guys were making them um, per mile. Probably I'd say fifty eight to sixty two cents per mile. Okay, all right. So I'm a I'm a five year driver. So what would I be coming in at? Yeah, um, with um your with ver with verification, of course. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. With, with that, um, and like I said, then it would actually, um, go with, um, the length of the load as well. But yeah, you'd probably be like 58 to um, 62 cents each mile. Okay. Okay. So for pre-employment testing, do, do you guys do hair follicles? No, we just do basic hair analysis tests. All right. Um, on the same question with pre-employment, um, do you guys do the pre-employment, like the drug testing, the paperwork, and all sorts of stuff before I come in or during orientation? We can do it both ways. Um, sometimes I've had drivers who um, I'm getting them in the last minute, so we, we wouldn't have time to actually do all that before class. Um, mm -hmm. We do offer that during class as well, too, so. Okay. Uh, when I come Now, when I come in for orientation, do I got to do I gotta do, like, agility tests and stuff like that yeah our um we do have a um a basic agility test it's just doing like squats and then um walking like 30 steps in 60 seconds i mean they're they're pretty basic as far as that we're not asking you to do handstands and walk backwards on your knees or anything like that so okay now i'm not a felon but i got a question about felons what's what's your policy on felons um, usually anything, um, seven years or before we have our, um, management look at it, usually anything after seven years old, um, is usually okay, just depending on the severity of the crime. But, um, yeah, pretty much any felonies go over to our management, they look them over and then, then they give us the yay or nay on it, so. Oh, okay, okay. Now, as far as my DOT card, I already have one, but do I got to get another one when I come in? Like a new medical card? Yes, a new DOT card. Yeah, for us, as long as your um your card doesn't expire in the next ninety days, you don't need to get one. Um, and if it does expire within the next ninety days, we just we go ahead and get that knocked out here in class for you. Okay. Now during orientation, is it paid? Do I get paid for orientation or no? Yeah, for orientation, our orientation is just two days because we only deal with um. 
drivers have experience. So it's um, two days in the classroom, and for those two days, you're paid $150 total, and then you get your truck on the third day. Oh, okay. Do uh, do you guys offer uh, pay advances, weekly pay advances? Um, yeah, I mean, up to like a couple hundred dollars, um, we do offer those. If you, um, if you need, like I said, like you said, just pay advance or anything, we, um, we do those up, up to a couple hundred dollars. Right. Depending on circumstances, if you need more, um, you can usually get worked out with your driver manager as well. Okay. What about, uh, what, what about, what about driving? Like, it, it, it am I subjected to going to specific fuel stops or is that, or is that up to the driver, whether or not he can choose whatever fuel stop he wants to go to? For us, we um, our fuel stops are um, pilots and flying J's, and they'll be when once you get your dispatch, they'll be marked like on your route, like where they are. You don't have to go to a specific one, but you would have to go to one of those along the way. So. Okay. So, I mean, if there's one in Cleveland you didn't want to go to, but there's one down in Columbus that you like better, if that's in your route, you can go to that one. So, but we can't we we can't go to no Loves if we want to go to Loves or anything like that or Petros. Right. Yeah. I mean, our fuel cars are just through um, flying chains and pilots. Oh, okay. Um, what about what about tolls? Can we can we drive the toll roads with no restrictions? Yeah, I mean we have um we have easy pass, fast pass in all of our trucks, so um, so you just go through those no problem. Oh, okay, all right. So for like you say six months, uh, six months experience though, um, that that driver was six months experience. Do we still got to go out with a trainer? No, I mean as long as you have six months of experience, you you're in the classroom. Uh, like I said, for two days, and then we get you your truck on your third day. So, oh, okay. I mean, you still do a road test once you're in class, but but yeah, there's there's no going out with trainer. We don't do any of that across the board. Oh, okay, okay. You guys offer vacation and holiday pay? Yeah, we do. Um, we do holiday pay, vacation. Um, starts after a year. You get a week after a year, and then it um it accumulates after that as well too. So. All right. Now, holidays is we is we cover for all holidays or just some of them. The the way it works for us, um, if you for holidays you have the options to work or not to work. If you do work over the holidays, then you um, you get a bonus for working up on those. You really don't do any for per se paid holidays oh okay okay what about uh what about of course you guys do you guys cover for a breakdown pay detention and layovers yeah we um with us we if you have a live load or live unload it's um fifteen dollars for the first hour and then twenty dollars for an additional hour for detention um layover if you do layover in week it's um $150 for a 24 hour period. If it's during the weekend, it's $200. And it's the same um, same rate on shop time as well, too. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you guys do hazmat loads? Yeah, we, we've got um, hazmat loads. Um, and actually, right now, if you, if you don't have your hazmat and you come aboard with us and you do get your hazmat with us, we picked up. And then, um, 90 days after um, receiving your hazmat, we give you a thousand um, dollar bonus. Oh, okay. So that oh, so that means if I don't have my hazmat and I come in and you got, I get it through you guys, I would get an extra thousand. Correct. Yes. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Of course, I don't have my hazmat, and I will be getting it this year. So that's a uh, that is good to know. That is definitely good to know. Um. What about benefits? What do you guys offer for benefits? Um, benefits start in after um, 30 days. We do through United Healthcare. We um, do medical, dental, vision. Um, we also have um, 401k matching stock options as well, too. So. Oh, okay, okay. And that's that's after what? 30 days, 90 days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those are um, the um, 
for the 401k matching yet. After um, 30 days, just like your insurance would be um, stock options, you can, once you're with us, you can do those as soon as possible. So. All right. I have a, I have a partner uh, that's interested in coming in with me. Do you guys do teams? Yeah, we do teams. And in fact, um, you said you had somebody coming in with you. We, we only do teams coming in if you um, have somebody to pair up with you. We're obviously not going to pair you up with somebody. I mean, um, okay. the divorce yeah. rate right now in the United States is 50%. We're not going to try to play matchmaker <laughs> for anybody. So. I hear you. Yeah, like I said, I, 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 do, have a, I do have a partner that's, uh, that's interested in, uh, in coming in with me, but they they're interested more on they they interested in lease so that's will be my next question do you guys offer lease options there currently we do not have lease purchase we just have um company drivers and then owner operators um i know we've been looking into it a little bit but that's something that right now we're not offering okay okay all right but if if you guys get it i would definitely be uh uh interested in it because my partner that's what you know that's what she's looking for as far as uh coming in uh coming into the you know coming into the truck with me she wants uh she wants the lease purchase so we can like make a little bit more money together um what's the uh average yeah. what's the average miles a week i can get uh with the company um it, it kind of varies there i mean if um if you're going home every week versus um, staying out for a couple of weeks or so, it varies. Um, like the guys who are home every week, they're probably um, they're probably in like I'd say 1,800 to 2,200 miles a week. Guys that are staying out for two weeks, they're probably right around 2,500. And guys who stay out like three weeks, somewhere in that range, there, um, they're probably 2,700 to um, 3,000 miles a week. Okay, okay. Are all the miles paid? Yep, yep, we uh, we pay empty miles as well as loaded miles. So. Oh, okay. What about uh what's what's now let me ask you this. Do you, do you guys have different divisions because I noticed that you guys have well I I mostly only seen reefers. So do you guys have uh other divisions other than reefer? The majority of the stuff we do is reefer. We um in the Ohio area we've got a couple um we got a couple of different dedicated accounts. One would be our Coke account, which um, most of all that's going to be dry van. And the majority of that is going to be dry van, except um, when the weather gets cold, sometimes you have a protect from freeze. So you would be running a reefer sometimes for that. Okay. You Do you guys do intermodal? Y'all do you, I could have sworn I seen a Martin intermodal trailer. Yeah, yeah. Most all of our trailers do say intermodal on the side of them. We yeah. do some intermodal out of um, out of like big cities like Chicago, um, some on the East Coast and stuff like that. So, so if I if I stay of of course I stay in Ohio, but if I inter if I'm interested in running intermodal, would that would that mean I would have to relocate out to Chicago in order to run it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because most all of our um, Intermodal guys, they're local guys, so they're just doing short hauls off the rail. They're not, um, they're not picking up a load in, um, in Chicago and then running it down to Columbus, Ohio, or anything like that. We we just use a regular OTR guys or regional guys for that. Oh, okay, okay. What um, you know, it was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> it was on the tip of my tongue. What I was about to ask you because, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's coming. It's coming. All right. What about um, what about the truck itself? Uh, once I get the truck, uh, will I be able to take the truck home? Yeah, definitely. As long as you have um secure parking either at your house or somewhere close to your house, um, you'd be able to take the truck home with you. Um, and if you do find secure parking and it's not at your house, we pay up to a hundred dollars a month for that parking for you. So so you wouldn't be out. Oh, okay, okay. What about uh, what about parking at the truck stops? Do you guys uh, cover that? Like, if I had to pay for parking at the truck stops, would you guys cover that? Yeah, yeah. If you if you're on a load or anything like that, you have have to pay at the truck stop. You just call your driver manager, have them send you either a comp check or a PO, either way you want it, and we co we cover that for you. So. All right, cool, awesome. What about home time? What's uh now now. I'm assuming 
that I, I will be coming in out of Ohio. I'm assuming I'm coming in as an OTR driver. So being that I'm coming in as an OTR driver, what will be my home time policy? Well, actually, I mean, if if you are coming in, I mean, it, you wouldn't have to be running OTR right off the bat. Oh, okay. I mean, I hire guys all the time who are who are out of Ohio. Like I said, we've got um we've got some some guys that run our regional. They're home every weekend, and oh, okay. Like I said, it's just kind of where you live, what you're looking for, and going from there. So. Well, yeah, I am definitely looking for regional because I am not <laughs> I'm not a fan of running OTR no more. Five years, I think. I think five years is enough. <laughs> uh, do you guys? Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. Do you guys? Uh, do you guys force dispatch up in New York City and California? We we do not. Well, let me, let me step back a little bit. We have force dispatch, but if there's an area that you don't want to go to or you don't feel safe, like like I said, like New York City, um, out in the mountains and the Rockies, stuff like that. I mean, we're not going to make you go out there. We're a self-insured company, so. If you don't feel safe in our in the truck, we don't want you to wreck it, obviously. So okay, that's, and we do very little stuff out of out of New York anyway. So that is awesome. I got or a little the city. So I got a little puppy, man. So can I? Can I? What's the pet and rider policy? Um, pets for us, we do dogs only right now, and um, it, they have to be under twenty five pounds, and they can't be an aggressive breed. Okay, yeah, my I got a mutt. So he's <laughs> he's not aggressive at all. No, I got you. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at him right now. So no, nah, he he's not aggressive at all. He's pretty much one of them little I, I call them purse dogs. <laughs> Would you call him a, chi- a a chihuahua or something like that? It, it's one of them funny pronounced names, but that's that's pretty much what he is. So so yeah, he he pretty much sleeps all day. Me drive him sleep. All right. Just wish he can get his license. All right, got you. Get your license. Maybe you can drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. All right. All right. Um. What about the equipment? What's uh? What's the equipment that you guys offer? We've got um Peterbilt Freightliners Internationals. Um, like I said, we are a self-insured company, so most of our stuff is two and a half years old or newer. Uh, I mean, does it said, does it come? Uh, the, put, oh, go, go ahead, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was, about, I was just gonna say I was putting bad equipment out out there. It's just one of those things where it's no good for you, no good for us either. So I got you. Um, all the bells and whistles, uh, inverters, refrigerators, or inverters, is, APUs. Um, some some have fridges some don't but uh, like i said with the, with the um full inverters and AV, apus i mean you can hook up just about anything you want on them so all right what about a driver cam sorry say that again driver cam um yeah we do have cameras in there they're front facing there's no audio on them they don't face down on the driver they're pretty much for us and for you just um cover your butt if there is an accident or anything that way we have the footage we can show it to the authorities and stuff and awesome. that way some some old lady that pulls out in front of you doesn't um doesn't get you stuck with oh this big bad truck hit me when we can pull the footage and be like oh no she swerved right into your lane so that's exactly. not on us so. exactly i appreciate that uh what's the trust governing that currently they're um governed at 65 um we do have it's a half hour window if, so if you're out on the road where you can um get up to 67 and go from there so oh, okay okay all right well uh what's your name again good conversation what's your name again my name's chris chris man my thank, name's chris chris yeah. thank you very much man i really do appreciate the time man thank you thank you um you did tell me that you guys have benefits uh what's, it, what's the benefit pay for it for weekly what's what's the weekly benefit pay Oh, uh, it, it kind of all depends. I mean, it, we um we do a really good job of if you of tailoring plans to you. So I mean, you can do you you and you and a spouse, you and a family, or you and just children. And then we break it down via um, smoker, non-smoker stuff like that. Oh, okay. And our if you are a smoker, our um 
our plans are only an extra ten dollars a week. It's not like we charge you an arm and a leg for smoking or tobacco use or anything like that. You know what? Speaking of smoking, what if uh, what if the marriage between me and Martin ain't all that hot, and I am a smoker? I'm I'm just using that as an example. Uh, I turned the truck in. Would I be Would I be subjected to paying a cleanup fee for when I turn the truck in? No, no, no. Oh, okay. On that. Okay. All right. All right. Well, cool, cool, cool. Well, man, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and take this back and um, and uh, do some more uh, research and go back on to the go back on to the uh, website and uh, do some more uh, do some more reading on there. And uh, I would definitely uh, definitely give you a call if uh, if I'm if I'm uh, you know if 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 you guys are the one that I want to work with. Okay, and if you do file an application or anything, um, you can just put my name down there. I'm, my name is Chris. I'm the only Chris in recruiting. So, All right. so yeah, if you want, want to go ahead and throw my name in there, um, and that way your app will come over to me, and then we could we get you going from there. So. All right, I appreciate it, man. I'll definitely do that. I also uh, I also throw your name out there too, is uh, you know to my other trucking buddies if you know if they looking for uh, looking for something different. All right, I do appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. You have a blessed evening. Hey, you too, man. Have a good rest of your day and be safe out there. Tenfold. Yo, I'd like to thank Lewis for suggesting Martin Transport for this episode of Make the Call 2020. Yo, if you guys are interested in any calls that you want me to make, definitely get it suggested in the community post or send it in the comments or send it on the dm let me know so that i can uh, get that call made for you yo 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 so what do you guys think of that call martin transport let me see if i can get that up again let me let me see if i can uh get that up again now i know i've been i was changed you know flipping flipping over and my phone dropped like a couple of times. That's why, you know, unfortunately, I can't keep the plug in. Damn it, man. Anyway, Martin, let's see what they got to offer, man. They said at Martin, we are committed to getting you more home time and more pay. As the top trucking company, we offer dedicated regional OTR, intermodal teams and owner operator opportunities. Now, I did ask them about the teams. All right. I asked him about the teams and he said that if you want to come in with your own buddy, they rather do it that way instead of partnering you with somebody. All right. So if you know somebody that want to come in with you and y'all want to make that money, that money, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and uh, bring them over to Martin right quick. It's actually Martin, Martin, Martin. You know what I'm saying? Um, one thousand dollars guaranteed paid weekly. Now he said if you stay out a little bit longer, it's eleven hundred or something like that. Six thousand dollars immediate detention pay yearly. So you probably want to read between the line on that. If they offering six thousand yearly, that might mean that you might be doing a lot of sitting. Just saying, sixty-two cent CPM average driver pay, uh, depending on what you do and where you go, and how um, what you do, where you go, and how you run, and how long you've been how long you've been driving. One hundred percent home time options, top certified carrier, exclusive boosters safety bonus weather pay incentive pay yada 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 late models they got they got late model equipment with some of the bells and whistles so what you guys think of the call what do you guys think of the call i am going to give this call a certified seven yes i think i'm going to give it a certified seven i think this was a pretty good call um a little a little muddle on some of the on some of the answers and that's 
probably my fault because my phone connections keep keep jumping from poor to good and then from good to to excellent so my fault about that my fault about that but what do you guys think you guys want to give martin a call this um this company good company i'm i'm thinking pretty good company now let me give you guys something right quick all right just make sure that all the call all the all the calls that i'm making for you guys just use this as a reference all right don't use this as the thing just use it as a reference because as they say you won't know until you actually get in with the company and then you drive with the company and then you'll see what the company is about all right so if you guys are interested make sure you give what's what did he say his name was chris i think make sure you give him a call and uh and try and jump on that well that's it that's pretty much it make sure you guys leave your ratings in the comments below leave questions in the comments below if you work for martin and you want to jump on the podcast to give a little bit more information about the company i'm reaching out to you come on aboard if you want to talk about martin and how good it is how bad it is it doesn't matter just come on let us know about the company and we'll go from there lockout men podcast at gmail.com reach out to me let's get it let's get it going all right don't forget to like subscribe comment share hit that bell hit that uh coffee app get me something to drink you know what i'm saying let me know in the community post who you guys want me to call next you know what i'm saying and get that voting up all right that's it i will see you guys in the next video you guys have a blessed one i'll talk to you guys later peace